Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my top down overhead camera shots. It's actually a pretty simple setup. I actually modified what I used to do before, which was a lot bigger with more lights above, but I actually simplified it. So it's compact with very clean lighting. So the main objective with this setup was to have something small and compact, but that was very efficient and that could stay permanent in my studio, something I don't have to move around. So I have this small table here that is actually adjustable in height though it's not electronic, this one's a manual one. And I actually have it at its lowest setting. And then I have this little mouse pad, it's actually not little, it's actually a big mouse pad, it takes up the whole size of the table pretty much. But this just has a little bit cleaner finish, less reflective than the top of the actual desk itself. And again, this is roughly about four feet wide. Actually, I think it's technically 44 inches. So it's a little shy of four feet wide and it's two feet in depth. I have it maybe about two, three inches away from the wall. And here on the wall, I have some acoustic panels here to absorb sound. So that way when I'm here, my voice is not too much bouncing around everywhere with a lot of reflections from the desk and the wall. This helps absorb the sound a little bit, giving me a little bit more of a cleaner sound on my recording. Now, when I do these shots, I do have a lavalier microphone on me for my talking. And I have the Rode Wireless Pro. Right now, I'm using it for this shot here, but generally it's on this camera here. I have my Sony either A7S III or A7 IV, which have a flip out screen. I'm gonna pop this off. Now I have this quick release system, which I've already made a video on this channel before. It's my favorite quick release system. It's the Obin QRA RP20. And I have this quick release system on the iFootage M30 ball head, which is attached to this small rig wall mount. And I love how simple it is for me to just pop this in. I already have the wall mount set up exactly where I want it centered to the desk and generally I'm using the Tamron 28 to 75 f 2.8 g2 lens so it's a zoom lens which easily allows me to make sure that I get the right framing no matter the size of the product now this articulating arm from small rig is actually really incredible you can use it for cameras lights various accessories it actually can extend outward it can change angle not only on the up and down, but also the left and right. It's extremely versatile, but I don't really want to move it. I don't want to, I have it perfectly set up right now. Otherwise I'd show you how much I can move it. But again, because I have this one specifically just for this shot here, it doesn't change. It stays here. And if for some reason this zoom lens is not working for me, I need something tighter or I need something wider, then I have other prime lenses that I'll change. But this right here is perfectly centered, which now leads us to the lights on the sides. Now I found that this is actually a very simple and easy to use setup to have very even lighting. I have two Nanlite Pavel tubes, the 6C, which are about a foot in width. The lights are on these Cobra 2 RBA200 desk monopods made by iFootage, which are actually very easily movable. They're very lightweight and they can adjust height very easily. So if I have a bigger product or I need something a little bit higher in lighting, I can adjust this however I want. Now the ball head is actually mounted onto the iFootage C-Stars quick release system. So the ball head connects to that and then the quick release to the monopod. And this is actually great because sometimes I don't wanna use this light here. And I actually wanna take this monopod somewhere else in the studio for something else. Or if I wanna bring in a different type of light, a different camera, etc. This quick release system here, I have this set up on all my fluid heads, all my ball heads. Now with the ball head, it allows me to easily change the angle of the lighting, but generally, this is a very simple angle to make sure that I have even lighting on my subject. These lights are by color and RGB. So if I wanna do any B-roll shots and just put different colored lights here, I can easily do that here as well. Though I don't really use this area for B-roll. It's mostly for demonstrating the product or hand shots especially. But these lights here are very versatile with this monopod. And again, I can lower it if it's a very small product and I need the light closer. Or if I need the light higher, I can easily do that. If it's a bigger product, but with two lights, equal size, equal distant, left and right. This actually illuminates very evenly. And then obviously I'll just sit down on the chair, face the product, talk, and everything's good to go. So there you guys have it. That's my overhead camera setup for top down shots. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.